and school districts across our area have faced one challenge after another this school year because of the pandemic. The WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough shows us how one school overcame those challenges and how the state plans to help those who did fall behind. These students at Coleman City Primary School are reading perfectly despite the ups and downs they faced over the course of the last year due to COVID-19. We started off from the first day and we figured out how we could, even with the COVID restrictions, how we could implement small group learning. Flat without Yes. The students here overcame the obstacles and received national recognition. The Dr. Louisa Motes Award, which recognizes schools for their ability to implement the science of reading. I think this is the most special way we can end the school year. And while there's certainly a lot to celebrate here at Coleman Primary School, some districts throughout the state have struggled to maintain progress during the pandemic. Dr. Mackey says state leaders are working on that. There are really only two things we can do. One is we have to assess where those children are, and we have high quality assessments in place in every school in the state. And then we have to, uh, to, have, to have that high quality instruction where there's some small group and one-on-one -on -one, uh, instruction going on. Mackey says that instruction will continue through the summer and into the fall but urging patience as he says it will be a lengthy rebuilding process for some. In Coleman, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.